In this video, we will learn how to override a template in the Algolia extension for Magento 2. More precisely, we are going to display the SKU of products directly in the autocomplete menu. By knowing how to override a template, you will be able to update the layout of the instant search page, to change the content of the autocomplete menu, and much more. All the code used here can be found in the video description. When programming in Magento, it's not recommended to write code directly in the original files, because all the modifications will be lost during an update. Instead, we should use Custom Algolia. It's a Magento extension that was specifically made to easily edit the Algolia extension. Here's how to install it. Open a terminal and move to your Magento directory. Type this to install the extension with Composer, and this to set it up. Now, if we navigate to Magento, Vendor, Algolia, we see the two extensions, Algolia and Custom Algolia. As a learning example, we will modify the original autocomplete menu to display the SKU of each product. It's a very modest change that will let us go through all the steps necessary to override a template. First, let's open the Magento Admin and move to Stores, Configuration, Algolia Search, Products. Here are all the attributes used by the search engine. We need to make sure that the attribute we want to display is in the list and that it is set as retrievable. Otherwise, it won't be accessible in the front end. Next, we have to identify the file we would like to edit. All the front-end files used by the extension are in Algolia, View, Front-end. In our case, we want the template that displays products in the autocomplete menu. So let's move to Templates, Autocomplete. Here we can find what we were looking for, product.phtml. Copy it, then move to the same location but from the custom Algolia folder. View. Front end, templates, autocomplete. Paste the file and open it. This code is using the Hogan.js templating engine to display each product. That includes the thumbnail, the name, the category, the color, and the price. To show the SKU just after the category, we add a span that contains some text and the variable with double mustache. We also add a condition to display the span only if the product has a SKU attribute. Now, we have to tell the extension to use the file with our modifications instead of the original one. For that, we need to edit a configuration that is in Custom Algolia, View, Front End, Layout, Algolia search handle.xml. It is full of comments with cut samples. In the body of this configuration file, we add a reference block tag that will hold two attributes, name and template. The name attribute is the reference of the original file we want to override. To find it, open Algolia, View, Front End, Layout, Algolia search handle.xml and search for product.phtml. The reference is in the name attribute. Copy it and paste it in the reference block. The template attribute is the path of our new file, so set it like this. The last step is to clear the Magento cache by opening the admin, then going to System Cache Management and clicking on the Flush Magento Cache button. We can check that everything is working by opening our Magento store and looking at the new autocomplete menu. Now, every product has a SKU displayed. In this video, we've coded a small tweak to the autocomplete menu in order to learn how to override a template. But you can perform more complex modifications by following the same steps. In the next video of this series, we will see how to use front-end events to change a widget on the instant search page.